Okay, so some people obviously know me as um, Alice from the salon in Abkenfig. Um, so yeah, I'm a hairdresser and um, I wanted to talk. It sounds really strange because being a hairdresser is not just about cutting hair. It's about listening and understanding how other people feel. Um, and I feel since being in lockdown, I've had a lot more of an eye opener to how um, people around me are feeling and how they're struggling. And what I've picked up on, not just on other people, um, mainly from myself first, because I think I have struggled a lot more than I thought thought I would I thought this would be like this amazing little holiday um I'd have time out I could do all the things I've always wanted to do um it's not the case no not at all um a lot of you know I've got two children so it's impossible to get anything done without them pestering me anyway regardless of that I wanted to talk about like our self-esteem um self-love like, why are we so harsh on ourselves? Every single person I've spoken to since the lockdown has something negative to say about themselves. And I, including me, and it's baffling me. I'm finding it really hard to process why we don't like ourselves so much. Um, someone as, 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 as myself, like, I suffer, obviously, with self the self hate and the not liking yourself and if I could change this part of my body and if I could do this and if I could do this um but I I just can't live anymore being surrounded by people who seem to think that just because you look a certain way or you do a certain thing or you live a certain way that you feel better than anybody else because what people don't see what you are they see the shell they see this exterior that we build up and no one quite knows what's going on. Um, it's made me, I guess the lockdown has made me address my own issues massively. So, um, the first, like I said, the first two weeks or so, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, it's pretty chilled. Um, I hit a massive brick wall um, and I've really, really, really struggled mentally with this. Um, people who say about... Um, mental health and like oh they're just you know they've they just got depression they jump on the bandwagon they've just got anxiety they jump on the bandwagon I was one of those people um I've always had an you know some slight depression however anxiety and I was like I'm I'm all right I'm not an anxious person you know I'm pretty chilled I'm not I am not chilled at all I have lost the plot but again it goes back to the people who I've been surrounded with my friends um, the girls I work with, who I absolutely love, my family, my sister, my mum, um, everyone I've spoken to. I was down the beach a few weeks ago and um, I know I shouldn't have been down the beach. I walked, okay, I was just sitting there enjoying the sun. Um, I was, me and one other social distancing, it was fine. Um, but there was a group of young girls who, again, I know they shouldn't have been there. However, that's not the point. Um they were talking about their bodies and they were only about 16 or 17 and they were the most beautiful girls. It's just a group of stunning young girls who are all there talking about the parts of themselves that they dislike. And I was sitting there looking at them thinking, that is so, so, so sad to think that these girls who I would say are gorgeous, like, beautiful naturally beautiful girls are standing there criticizing themselves and their friends weren't agreeing with them but they weren't disagreeing with them either they were just like like one would say oh i hate my belly or my boobs too big and then the other would go oh i hate this by myself and they'd all just go into this circle of each of them having something about themselves that they hate and i just don't know if i want well, no, I know, I, not that I don't know, I don't want my children to grow up in a world where they think that they need to be a certain way or they need to look a certain way, they need to act a certain way. I, I don't mean manners and I don't mean the way you behave in public. I just mean they need to be themselves and they need to find them themselves. So, yeah, I thought I would just make some 
videos maybe of just how how do we find ourselves when did you find yourself when do you discover who you really are without the exterior without this without the makeup the eyeliner the tattoos um the lip fillers the botox whatever you like to do which is what you like to do um is completely fine but when do we actually just like find out who we are because i feel like as i'm getting older i'm getting more saddened by myself and the people around me and yeah i sort of want to change it so i yeah i'm hoping to do some videos and to just see how it goes and see what you all think